All right, guys, how you doing? Finally got my MIPs from America. Oh, they weren't cheap. Almost $90 for the shafts. And then they stung me another £22 on import duty. Hey. Actually, now I see the price on here. They seem pretty cheap, actually, at $90 for both. So I started off with the plastic drive shafts that the kit come with, and it keeps snapping off on the end here, and I'll keep snapping the axle off. Then AS Steve gave me a set of these, and I bust all them. Then I bought a set of the Traxxas steel drive shafts, even though everyone told me not to, and broke them as well. So hopefully, you guys have been telling me, get the MIPs, get the MIPs. I mean, they do feel a little bit heavier than what I've had on there before, but hopefully, that's gonna be the end of them keep breaking. So it looks like we've gotta build these bad boys, so let's give it a go. How hard can it be? So the only bad thing I've heard about these is that people say they can fall to bits. So I'm gonna properly degrease all these parts, make sure that there's no oil or any cutting fluid or anything like that inside these threads. Give that a proper good clean in there, and then assemble it with this really super duper heavy duty Loctite. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but you can already see the grease coming out of here. The more grease we get off of these things, the less likely they are to fall to bits. And if you do ever have to get these apart again, you just put a little bit of heat on there. And then I'm going to leave it for a couple of days to let that Loctite go off. I, you know, I really don't want these things to fall to pieces. Alright, so we're going to get them other three shafts assembled and then we're going to put them on. It says in the instructions to use some of this grease stuff, but the trouble is, when you put grease on here, it's got a tendency for dirt to get in there and stick to it, and it's gonna act like grinding paste, and it can actually make it wear down even quicker than if you just leave it dry. So I think I'm just gonna leave it, leave it dry, run them as they are. All right, they're all assembled, so let's get them fitted. So there you have it guys, all four fitted, front and rear. Hopefully that's gonna be the end of my drive shaft problems because this was by far the most problems that I ever had on this thing were the drive shafts. So I got the Techno Center drive shaft and that solved all those problems. And now hopefully with these shafts in here, that's gonna be the end of that. I mean, it has added a bit of weight, but hopefully that's not gonna start busting up other parts instead. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Soon we're going to take this thing down to the BMX track, skate park and all that stuff. So make sure you subscribe guys so don't miss that. So alright guys, hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, share the video with your buddies. See you soon guys. You know what you gotta do.